Adventures in Fern Hollow Brock the Balloonist Brock Gruffy bustled about his little shop, puffing on his pipe like an old steam engine. He was trying to tidy the place up, but it was in such a terrible clutter that it was an almost impossible task. Brock was soon distracted from the job when he came across an enormous cardboard box, which he couldn't remember having seen before. What's this? he muttered, adjusting his spectacles to read the label. Hot air balloon? How exciting! Brock dragged the box, which was very heavy, out into his garden, and following the instructions soon had the balloon inflated. It was striped red and yellow and was absolutely gigantic. The badger climbed into the basket and untied the anchor rope, and the balloon floated up into the clear blue morning sky. Higher and higher it climbed until the houses of Fern Hollow looked like tiny little models. Soon Brock began to feel dizzy and decided to bring the balloon down a little. Unfortunately, the silly badger let out far too much air and found himself speeding towards the church steeple. Oh no! cried Brock, covering his eyes. Crunch! The basket hit the steeple and sent it crumbling to the ground. Parson Dimley came rushing out of the vicarage, thinking that there must have been an earthquake, and was amazed to see the enormous balloon floating away across the river Fernie, with Brock Gruffy in the basket waving his arms around and shouting for help. At last the balloon came down on top of Sigmund Swamp's roof, crashing into his bedroom and giving the poor toad, who was still in bed, the fright of his life. Soon a crowd of animals had gathered around Sigmund's house, and P.C. Hoppet arrived on his bicycle looking very serious. Of course, Brock couldn't afford to pay for all the damage he had done, and P.C. Hoppet had no alternative but to arrest him. What a terrible thing to happen. Brock Gruffy was locked up in Fern Hollow Jail, and feeling, as you might imagine, very sorry for himself. <laughs>